Welcome back to SmartHelping.com. It's 2.50 p.m. on Wednesday, October 26th. I'm feeling a little a bit like I'm in the eye of the storm. I had a super busy weekend, start of the week, and right now I'm a little bit slower, so I'm going to try to do uh, an Excel model like you uh, might know if you watch. I do one of these a week, and uh, this week I think the route I'm going to take is going to be on sales funnel tracking. Uh, com it's going to have something to do with advertising, sales and marketing costs possibly, and then how the sales funnel, sales pipeline flows, percentages, and how to track that based on a given output or export from your CRM or what have you. So having said that, I'm starting from a completely brand new Excel workbook and let's see, we're going to title this um, Sales Funnel 1.0 Alright, I'll be back. Let's see what I can come up with. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've got this thing built and it should be working so we're going to go through it. Uh, so first tab, Summary. It's going to allow you to enter any date range, and within that date range, it'll give you what your sales pipeline value is, what your contracts one value is for that period, how much you've lost in contracts, and your lost pipeline. Also gives you percentage of burn to sales, percentage of burn to add a contract value, and percentage of pipeline value lost. So you can see what's, what you're winning, what you're losing. And then it's also going to show you an annual five-year summary, um, which is based on inputs from the quarter tab for the year. And that will show you your net contracts and net pipeline, so it's adding together what you've won and lost for um, an annual period, popping it in there, and then it's going to do a visual. Now this whole thing is driven off the input card. It's real simple. You just I've got like some drop downs here for the four different types of contract statuses. So something that's pipeline new would just be added to your leads, but you haven't closed it. Pipeline lost is if you have some mechanism to track when something moves out of pipeline. Uh, then contract started means you've won it. It started. Contract ended means you know you've lost it. It's burned. So you pick whatever that is and then you pick I've got a uh, tab here for your salesman if, you, if applicable and then you pick your revenue type I put in four different types of revenue you could have I just put product one two three four and then the value of the contract and basically you put the value whenever it's won, whenever it's lost, and whatever the contract value is for. So if you got a two year contract for three million dollars, um the the years part doesn't matter, all that matters is the value of the contract. And then if it's lost, you would put that the date that expires and it doesn't get renewed, you'd put it as a loss, you change it to contract ended and put the three million dollars. So that gives you an analysis of, you know, kind of what you're doing every month or every quarter and on an annual basis. Now, if you don't want to put the contract loss and just want to track um, what you've been adding, then you just don't put a contract lost. The purpose of this is less for, you know, legal reporting and more for um, internal organization analysis. Okay, so let's say we got a, we, let's just, uh, let's run through the rest of the tabs first. So the quarterly, um, you can actually pick between a monthly basis or a quarter. That'll all update your quarter 
you know it'll say what quarter it is um, and the year automatically um, all you need to do is type in the first day of the starting month that you're going to be tracking and it'll update so let's say we start on 2017 you see all that updates and right now it's on quarters if I switched it to months so it'll go to months and I've got it out I've got it going out five years if you're going by um, if you're going by quarters so right now it's at months if I put it to quarterly it's got to 2020 or 2021 actually if we started in 2017 and what this sheet does is it tracks based on whatever's put in this input card and entered into the database which we'll go over in a minute it'll track all the different revenue types for any for the time period you see up top and it does um, the type so what you've won in pipelines what you've lost out of the pipeline the contract starts contract ends and then it nets everything together here so you can see if you're actually adding or losing um, what you're adding and losing every period uh, then also a salesman so this analysis will allow you to see what your salesmen are doing um, we've got a start and end date here as well so you pick any date range and it'll populate and say what the salesman has done in a various revenue type and it's going to aggregate it based on this date range then I've also done a uh, more streamlined monthly or quarterly analysis on those where it shows what each salesman has done and the total by month by quarter over time uh, then we've I've added visuals so you can see the salesman value of contracts one the new pipeline or net new pipeline and contracts uh, over time and then we've got our database and our reference so let's do an example because that's the best way to show how it works so let's say on uh, let's just do one 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 well let's say one five two thousand seventeen let's say we've got pipeline we've added some new pipeline into the mix let's say the salesman is Milton and for product type 3 and let's say the contracts for 1.2 million there we go so we got it all entered to enter it we'll just hit enter data and you see that automatically flows through to here and now we should start seeing some values come up yep there's that 1.2 came through for the salesman it didn't come through because this is not in 2017 if we change this to 2017 and this let's just say we were looking at the first or first to second month let's see one one to two one what date do we put in there one five and it's pipeline new oh did I just do this for closed contracts let's change this let's say he closed the contract actually there we go so we see Milton closed contract for product 3 popped right in there and our overall summary came in through there at the right date and visually you can see well net new pipeline and net new contract they both populated because I had them both in there and the salesman did here uh, let's do a couple more salesmen so let's say um, in April of, of 17 we had Bronk do 400 500,000 for category 1 and then let's say same month we had Benny do 250 360,000 new contracts there we go now let's just extend this for the full year you see those popped in there they popped in here 
and the visual now you can see there's a breakdown between the two salesmen on that month and you see the legend down here shows who's got what and then on an overall basis not going by salesman but just going by the total we see net new pipeline and net uh, contracts now let's say in April let's say we lost 500,000 in contracts and let's say it was Lester we enter that now look what happens nothing pops in here nothing should pop in here either but in the visual we could see the net oh look at that see that just net went down and we've got nothing in here but our net went down you can see if you look on the quarterly for 17 you can see 500,000 contracts ended so we've put in 860 then we lost 500 so the net's 360 um, so this is just a good way to see what your sales pipeline is doing all in one spot you get your database all in one spot and you can do all kinds of queries now I can have this this can go all the way out you just drag the formulas over it can go as many years out as you want there's all kinds of different ways to report but this is kinda like the template to, that you can start from to start building um, your tracking for internal now you can see on the overall summary for the year it has the nets in here and also uh, annual pipeline summary if we added let's say we let's say let's go to the next year April of 2018 let's say we add uh, a new pipeline of a million 10 million oh, let's do 1 million enter that now you can see that boom that popped in right there for a new pipeline and we can also see our our sales pipeline lost pipeline none and you could kinda treat this however you feel would best serve you so if uh, if you add a pipeline it was there for say you have a thing so if it's there for over five months you just remove it well then you'd remove it by doing a uh, pipeline lost um, now if you want it if so if you went to if you added a million dollars a new pipeline let's say we did that in 2018 and let's say Benny did one let's try to get one with all four of them Rock and Lester so let's say they all got some pipeline but you want it, and then they convert everything to a contract well you would still you would then do pipeline lost for all those amounts but then you would do contract started for all those amounts so then you contract started for each one and then you do pipeline lost for each one and that's how the flow kinda works as you work through what you know the the movements so it's okay if you're not if you're losing pipeline but gaining, you know, contracts, that's a great thing. And you can see this pulls through. Here's the visual now. Let's go to, let's report to 2018. So let's start this at 2017. There we go. Now you can see that month where they all four got a million. That's what it would look like net new is here net contracts net new pipeline 
so this is just one and I like to go through the use cases because a lot of guys will give you the Excel template and show you it but they won't actually show you some different ways you would actually use it to see what's going on in your organization um, again there's a I could easily adjust this to make it the database have all kinds of fields that you want to report on there's all kinds of different summaries that are possible with this um, but I kinda try to give you enough to show you what is possible um, and then uh, the price on this I'm gonna put a price on this whole thing uh, with the structure at $100 I feel like that's very fair and then any time it takes I'll kind of explain if you need explained how to use it and then any modifications or features or uh, you know general support that goes beyond actually showing you how to use it I'll just charge you know that's part of my normal hourly rate of thirty five dollars an hour which you'll see at smarthelping.com and that's it so if you want to get the template just go to the link in the descri description box below click through to this website at smarthelping.com and uh, you could purchase it with a debit card or any kind of credit card I accept and I'll send you the spreadsheet to your email alright I guess that wraps up the Excel model for the week and I look forward to onboarding some people onto this that want to track their organization's uh, metrics for their sales pipeline and I would mention that this is probably good for any, you know, mid-size, small to mid-size business with maybe five to ten salesmen, even, I mean, up to twenty really, and it would still be pretty useful. And not a ton of contracts, but the database could handle thousands but not millions and it's more for larger contracts so you can really see what's going on with uh, your cash movements and, and your success of uh, salesmen. Alright, have a great day.